Hi guys, what's up? Okay, welcome back to another Faithful Friday video. I'm finally posting on Friday. <laughs> I need to stop being so inconsistent. I've noticed that every three months I've just like stopped <laughs> and started. But thank you for tuning in anyways and just keeping up with me even though I'm very inconsistent. And I've been like every three months. So I've been consistent every three months I've been posting. So hopefully I can just stop doing that. But life gets busy and I'm on vacation so I thought might as well. <laughs> I have time to post video since we're all chilling today. By the way, I'm wearing like literally the same shirt I was wearing in my video before um, because I'm posting it the same day. I just fixed my makeup and if you want to see that video, um, I'll have it posted at the end of this one so you can click on it and check it out. It's both my nieces and they're doing my makeup so one's doing half my face, one's doing the other half. It's great. Okay. <laughs> So, um, this is part two on trusting God. I talked way, went on a tangent, and I'm probably still doing that now. <laughs> um, but I talked way too much beforehand. I wanted to talk a little bit about, um, why, like, you know, we should trust God and all. And I was getting on to my third point, which is, he has a purpose and he wants you to fulfill his purpose. And so, what I've been, like, preaching a lot, especially, like, to the kids in, especially if you guys are watching this, you guys have noticed that, um, to my fifth and sixth kids at church, you know, because I teach them, and I've been preaching a lot that the more we go on God's path, the closer we get to his purpose that he wants us to fulfill, like the closer we get to that, and so in order to do that, we have to trust him, um, because it even says in the Bible that, that when you go down like a narrow path, which is easier than a big human gives path, the world will give you like all these options and all these things, but God, he gives you one path and he wants you to take it. And when you're looking at the worldly path and you're looking at all these options, sometimes God gives us a bunch of options and goes, go this way, that way, but you always turn back to him. But what I'm saying is, is that it's easier to just go down his path, which yes, it's narrow, it's small, it's like what's going on sometimes. You don't even see the bigger picture, but God sees it, and that's when trust comes into play. So, in Ecclesiastes 3.11, and this is the scripture I wanted to say, and this is the scripture I was talking about in my part one video. If you haven't seen that yet, you should go check it out. Um, but I was talking about how this is like the scripture that popped up um, in my mind when I was trying to decide whether or not to keep this friendship that I had with this person. And like I said, it wasn't even like a bad person, but what this person was doing to me was very, very like, it was just a lot. Like, you know those people where they want you to help them, but they're also giving you all their problems and they're putting it on your shoulders. And it was kind of like one of those things. But when I read this, it was kind of like God being like, it's time. <laughs> So if you're going through something like that, it doesn't even have to be like a season of like a ending a friendship, but it could be just ending anything, anything. It could be, you know, like, like cutting ties off of just like, let's say you're spending more time doing something else than spending time with God. Maybe it's cutting that off. Maybe it's, you know, maybe it's cutting time off of like watching too much Netflix and spending more time with your family. Maybe it's just something simple like that, or it could be like, you know, for older, the older ones that are watching my video, like. Oh, I need to stop working at this job that I hate and find something, a passion that I love. And you know what? Maybe God wants me to fulfill this and this is what I need to do. Okay. So in Ecclesiastes 3.11, it says, Yet God has made everything beautiful for its own time. And he has planted eternity in the human heart out. Even so, people cannot see the whole scope of God's work from beginning to end. So it's true. Sometimes we just can't see it. We can't. Or like, okay, well, God wants me to do this. Like, I was like, God wants me to end this friendship. So, so God wants me to end this friendship because this person's been, like, bugging me like crazy. And we're just not having a healthy friendship because we're, like, rich friends and we're not friends. So, I'm thinking, like, okay, God, I get it. Like, you just don't want us to be friends anymore. But the bigger picture was, it was, like, I want you to have healing. Like, there's things that you need to, I want you to work on and you to heal for yourself. But you can't do that because you're too busy taking care of A, B, and C. <laughs> So it's the same, it's kind of like the same thing. So God makes everything, everything in its timing, like he makes everything beautiful for its own time. So there's a time 
there's a time that he wants to end things, time he wants to start things, and we have to just trust, and that's part of trusting, is trusting and doing that. It, that was like a really hard thing for me to do. As much as it was easy for me to just be like, okay, let me just, but it was really hard because I felt like I had to take care of this person, and that's not my job. Like, and the way you can, especially if you're having a hard time, just saying if you're trying to end like a friendship, you know, or just end ties with a relationship that's not really good for you, um, just, you know, pray for them. Know that that is like the number one thing you can do that actually does help is like praying for them, and I call it loving them from a distance. You know, like you can love somebody, but from a distance, because sometimes it's healthier that way than being there with them. Because sometimes they're toxic for you. You're toxic for them. It's just all bad. <laughs> I wanted to say that waiting is literally part of trusting his plan. I'm a very impatient person. If you don't know me, I'm very impatient. Waiting sucks, especially for impatient people. If you're patient, that's great. That's fantastic. If you're like, I don't mind waiting. But waiting is sometimes very difficult. <laughs> Not gonna lie, it's safe to ask God for patience. I'm very bad at that. <laughs> so it's like waiting to have patience for, let's say, the, the job you want, the career you want, all these things. Like, God did not put these things into your mind and be like, I'm not gonna give them to you. No, he's gonna bless them to you, but like in his time. So you have to wait on it. And he's like building you up so when you do get those blessings, you're getting them at his right timing and you're also there's a reason why you're getting them at the time that you're receiving them it's it's great you know like because you see all of god's promises and stuff like that and it's but it's worse when you when you see god's promise that he wanted to give you but you let it slip away because you were just like so impatient and you didn't want to wait or you just didn't want to walk through that path because you were like oh well this path's easier you know the one where we're talking about the wide path like this is easier so i'm just gonna do this and then you end up miserable and you see somebody else getting the blessing or you saw the blessing that he wanted to give you and now you're like, great. I mean, yes, he blesses you with something else, but I'm saying like, you're like, if I would have just waited, if I could have just saw, then yeah. The reason why you wait is because there's like a result, you know? And like I said, maybe, maybe you're not in the right. God wants to build up your spirit. He wants to build up your mind because he feels like you're not ready for that. Not gonna lie. Like, you know, like, there's certain things that we're just, like, not ready for. And so, God has, like, a plan for everything and everyone. And, yeah, and I'm just saying, like, waiting is part of trusting. I think waiting is a big part of trusting because I feel like in this world, in this generation, everybody hates waiting. The thing is, it's like, it's like, there's a reason why God has us wait. And there's a, there's a reason why we should trust Him. And it all leads down to His purpose, His grace things he wants us for, things that he has for us. He he doesn't he doesn't give us things. He doesn't he doesn't put things into our mind to just throw it away. He gives it to us and he gives us gifts, but he wants us to honor him. waiting sucks in like a worldly way, but when it comes to God's purpose and God's saying for you, waiting is means so much more. It's so important and it's means so much because like when you're waiting and you're being patient and it's something god's plan basically is the best plan and so his purpose for you is the best out of everything you can imagine and everything the world tries to give you because he has everlasting love and peace and joy and all those good things so why wouldn't we want to like basically go down his path why wouldn't we want to have that purpose-filled life and to feel that and so part of that is trusting him and so when we trust him we just feel the holy spirit and feel and we feel secure so feel secure in our walk and even though our walk may be a little like depending on i told you the more you go on god's path the more i feel like secure you feel but the more you kind of go on the worldly path like yes um you feel kind of like wobbly because you're not in like a secure path you're in a wide path rather than like a narrow one which is going to be straight there so that's why, um, I mean, that's why I'm saying like you should trust God because, you know, to be patient, to wait, that he has a purpose for us. He's got a plan for us. He guides us. He's in that. So yeah, that's all I wanted to really like say in this video. I know it was kind of like short. It's not really that long or anything like that, but that's because I did the other three key points. So at the end of this video, um, I'll have the video up for you 
for part one and you can click on that and then you can watch this video and everything will make sense. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, God wants us to trust us because of purpose, he's our guide and waiting is part of trusting him. And so what I'm saying is, is that like, if you put your trust into him and you know, and understand that you have to wait in order not to get that trust, but waiting comes with how much you're trusting him because it'll come on his time, not your time too. And we want everything in the now, but it's better when we wait because then it's like the perfect timing. It's God's timing and it's always perfect. So yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Um, I always say, I always forget to say, like and subscribe if you haven't already. I can't believe it. I'm at 61 subscribers now, which I'm so blessed. Until I have an opportunity, I never thought I would. And I'm just excited for everything else that God has for this channel. Everything that, like that. Um, I'll be posting more faith-related videos. I recently moved, so my living situation is like crazy right now um because i have boxes and stuff but i will try to post a faith related video next faith related video which will be next week um posting my testimony my actual real life testimony i've shared my testimony in church before but not the whole thing so this is going to be the first time i share it let's just say that i'm going to have a warning before um because it's going to talk about really serious things and if you're a kid i don't know if your parents are cool with you watching it so I would suggest to just like check in with your parents before you watch that video because it talks about really like really things that are really serious and adult subjects, adult matters. But I wanted to get it out and open because I wanted to share with other girls or women, men, anyone that has gone through what um, what happened or basically that can relate to my testimony and story. Maybe it will help them reach them to God and understand that they're not alone. So. Yeah, it's going to be really raw. I haven't done it yet. I'm kind of nervous about it, but I've been praying on it and God's been wanting me to do it. So that's what I'm going to do next week is I'm going to share my testimony on Friday. For sure on Friday. Yes, on Friday it's going to be, my testimony is going to be shared. And it's going to be very emotional and real and raw. And I'm nervous, but I'm excited because I know it's all God's plan. And like I said, I've been making myself wait and God's been like, do it. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing okay well yeah and I'm gonna try once I get everything settled in my apartment or maybe I'm gonna be doing it at my friends apartment or start doing that but I'm gonna start doing cooking on my channel because I love to cook I like food food's amazing I think everybody likes food so I've been inspired to do cooking on this channel and yeah I've just been wanting to do a bunch of stuff on here like I said, I'm not going to do an Oregon vlog. Yes, I'm in Oregon, but I'm not going to do a vlog because I've just been trying to be like screen, not completely screenless because if you go check on my Instagram, which I'll link below if you want to see things that I've been doing out here. Um, but I just didn't want to have a screen in my niece's faces. I haven't seen them in like four years, so I just didn't want to put a screen in everybody's faces. And I didn't want to do that. I just want to spend time with them. So I've been having a lot of fun out here. But if you want to check out what I'm doing in Oregon, I just... Follow me on Instagram. <laughs> It'll be down below. And yeah, so I hope you guys like this video. Um, 